a bit different matter. So I don't know where these new players are going to fit in the team. Yeah, we said yesterday, didn't we? There's absolutely work to be done, both on the field with the, the tactics and integration of new players, but also you know, a major amount of housekeeping to be done off the field with... Tony Kroos, one of the big names for Real Madrid, who in pre-season, it has to be said, have flattered to deceive. We'll see tonight, though, if they don't beat this Fenerbahce side, who were pretty poor last night. Even more questions. And from that moment on, they struggled, and none more so than Nabil Darir, forced to play out of position, and it seems like he'll do the same again. Fenerbahce defence, young Uruguayan Federico Valverde should sit deepest in midfield. Quite a few changes from their team yesterday, and they get us underway, the third-place match. Up a few cheap, cheaper players. Here's Gary Rodriguez. Shakes off the tackle. Rodriguez! Great start for Fenerbahce. Real Madrid concede again in pre-season. Sloppy at the back again. The pace of Gary Rodriguez getting in behind. And opening Madrid concede again in pre-season. Sloppy at the back again. The pace of Gary Rodriguez getting in behind and opening the scoring here. I'd like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not really. But well, a consequence in pre-season games for Real Madrid is alarming. The amount of early goals they've conceded in games. This is the first any sort of attack from Fenerbahce. It's fantastic skill. Enough. Marcelo. Hazard. It's by the crowd here. Benzema. Playing that ball across, there's no one there for it. And he plays it across the face of goal. They've caught out there, Fenerbahce. But it's a miscued effort from Vinicius. But yeah, we talk about the financial problems of Fenerbahce. That's a lot of money for them at the moment. It's the state of affairs. It certainly is. And... Isco. Beautiful balance that Isco has. And he was this competition. They've had him to thank. Marich wants the ball in again. And Terry. They're getting it behind rather easily. Cadiolu. Oh, hanging it up brilliantly. And Mar Marcelo. Lovely ball through. Benzema. Good stop. Plays it low. Oh, the defenders missed it. And Benzema will tuck it away. Another error at the back for Fenerbahce. Cost them a goal. Plays it low. Oh, the defenders missed it. And Benzema will tuck it away. Another error at the back for Fenerbahce. Cost them a goal at the Audi Cup. And Karim Benzema, one of Zidane's favourites. Gets on the score sheet. What a good start for Fenerbahce, only lasted 11 minutes. They look tidy, they look dangerous going forward. But yet again, mistakes in defence are repeated. And that allows Real Madrid to get back on level terms pretty quickly. Should ease the anxiety. Madrid, the captain is Marcelo. Cruz's corner. Again, is Marich. Red by Nacho. Benzema all, almost cutting it through there to Isco instead it's Vinicius. Odriozola wanted it on the open. Tony Kroos to take this. Just enough. Here come Real again. Ryan Deer will claim to help out. It's a good ball from Hazard. That's a miscue. Almost fell into the path. Hazard picks up the loose ball. And then Hazard. We just have over end to that side defensively. Ariolo. Lovely feet from the Dutchman. Could keep use that pace again. And get away from Varan Rodriguez. And it was just enough on the ball across. In a trouble here with Vinicius running at him. And Vinicius slipping it through to Benzema. Good feet for the Frenchman. Just. It goes from Cruiser. Go from Reyes. Momentum here is Dirar. That's good work from the Moroccan, Dirar. Here goes Valverde. Just had his shirt tugged, didn't matter. And they're up in support here, Odriozola. He rather tele... Hazard, Benzema. Andrew couldn't find the Frenchman. Chances. Isco towards the back post by Indir. Isco. Still, let's go. Lovely ball in. And Reyes puts it over. In go 
goes the cross and picks out his man. And that man is Karim Benzema for his second. And Real Madrid from a goal behind, a 2-1 in front before the half. And that man is Karim Benzema for his second. And Real Madrid from a goal behind, a 2-1 in front before the half hour. And Fenerbahce continue to lead goals. Well, we thought the defend was bad yesterday. It's continued again for Fenerbahce. I can't believe what we saw. We had the, the perfect angle there to see Tony Gross just look up, just chip it into the path of Karim Benzema. Nobody was in front defending. No one was defending the zone. The defender was... He's here on the left-hand side. Marcelo. Ball pulled back. Again. Ten took over. One of his first decisions was to put Marcelo back in, leave him there. Scope couldn't control it. So we have to say about him. Got there, he'll now slip in Hazard. Can he pick a man out? He can, but it's fired over. Sloppy pass straight to Valverde. And Valverde can feed Benzema looking for a hat trick already. And, it... and here's Hazard. Space for Eden Hazard. And he couldn't release the ball for Hazard. Maybe a lot of Real Madrid fans. Reach will go. Armed away by Navas and it's towards Vinicius. So he move it to the left. Yes, he can. It's Dira onto his favourite right. It's going to loop in another goal, a fourth goal in this entertaining first half. And it's Nabu Dira. A different day for the Moroccan. Yesterday booed by his own fans, today cheered by his own fans, and he makes that point. And it's 2-2. It was just as we were saying that Fenerbahce weren't very good. I think we should hasten to add defensively. Likewise, Real Madrid. Madrid's Green Benzema, they need goals for pre-season. Nice feet from Hazard. Almost through again. Tim Cruz are playing it inside and getting it back. They need a good cross here towards the back post of Dirar. Rodriguez, reach, bends forward here, Cadiolu to run at Marcelo, as he pulls it back, Salam deflected, wrong, Hazard, well people say about friendlies don't read challenges, Salam, that's the teasing ball in, again, Vinicius, and there's Andrea Zola bobbing forward, in here, Lucas Vasquez, nice ball across, and a hat-trick for Karim Benzema. Thomas Muller yesterday, Karim Benzema today, and Fenerbahce just cannot stop the goals going in. We have to stop the source initially. Talks about Real Madrid's problems in not locking any of the crosses that were coming in to the penalty area. Likewise, Fenerbahce there initially. Talks about Real Madrid's problems in not locking any of the crosses that were coming in to the penalty area. Likewise, Fenerbahce there. Ball goes wide. Nabil Dirar goes out there, but he's nowhere near close enough. Exactly the same, Diego Reyes. Ball watching, not looking at the movement of Karim Benzema. Anyway, whatsoever, he's relying on the fullback, tucking in on the central defender, number 20 for the cross, Marcelo to deliver it, and it goes, almost fell to Nacho, and the flag's up, look to pick out the Frenchman again, in it goes, Jelson got his head to that, Otu, edge of the box, too far, no, yes, 3-3, three, three. the goals are really flowing in this game, you can't really blame the Real Madrid defence for that one, Two fan with some effort and enough to beat the young goalkeeper, Lunin. I cannot believe it. Fair play to Fenerbahce. Every time you think that Real Madrid have got in front and they're going to stretch away from Fenerbahce, it shows spirit, desire, and on this occasion, plenty of power and skill from the finish. Two fan weighs it up, looks at his other options and decides from the game. Here's Mariano Diaz, looking for the immediate impact, goalkeeper couldn't keep out his effort. The follow-up from Nacho. And Real 
Real Madrid restore their lead. What an immediate impact from Mariano Diaz. Who <laughs> looks the determination and aggression with the way he was closing down the defenders, the attempt to goal. Yet to find an explanation as to why Nacho is the player in the position to follow up and get the tapping. You see Mariano Diaz. Mariano Diaz, pass para Lucas Vasquez. Remate de Lucas Vasquez, a defesa e golo. Mariano Diaz andava à procura do golo desde que entrou. Tinha tido preponderância já também no golo que Nacho fez, o 4 a 3 para o Real Madrid. E agora ele próprio, ao minuto 80, a carimbar o quinto do Real Madrid.